what, what happened is uh, today again is another madness from the executive arm of the go of government. I, do, I see no reason why Nam De Kalu will not be given proper and fair trial. When some of his lawyers and the sympathizers, the Aziz, the Igwes, all the way from the northeast, they came and you are denied them access to court. What does that mean? There's not going to be a fair trial. I, keep, I have said this before and I'm saying it again. There will not be a fair trial. At the end, they will reduce it to only one person. From one person, they will reduce it to nobody. I don't know the lawyer did not come and the rest, he has been sentenced to ABCD years. Just like what they are doing to Indibo. Because Nam Dekaru is an Igbo man. If he's not an Igbo man, they will not do it. Because he's an Igbo man. All the Igbos in Nigeria are in trouble now. You, you know what happened to Mary, Mary Odile, Just Mary Odile. Because she's from Imo State. That is why. She's built to take over from the, uh, uh, the CJN. That is sick. You know? They now decide to come with a, all sort of uh, allegation. They want to search his house. They want to search his uh, parlor. They want to search his uh, village. They want to search his... Uh, he refused to search all this. A woman who has paid his dues from magistrate court to high court, from high court to appeal court, from appeal court to supreme court. Today he came to embarrass him. And the so-called attorney general we have say, I don't know because she is an Igbo woman. That is all I can say. Namdi Kalu is an Igbo man. It can never happen to any other person. Uh, um, 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 uh, this other man from uh, um, Kaduna State, uh, uh, Zaki Zaki, comes here for his trial. Nobody stops any lawyer. They enter, finish and come out. Why are they stopping lawyers from to, not to we, 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 um, uh, put us in um, this kind of trial? And one of the legal team, I'm here, look at my wig and gun, I'm here. They refused me from entering. It is, it is, it is only a foolish man that will fight a, a man with, with gun. I can't fight them, they are, they are all armed. You can see. And tomorrow they say they will come to the television and start telling us rubbish. Like, like, like Mohammed will come and tell us rubbish. And Femi and uh, the Shehu Garba and the rest. Rubbish. Look at what we are. Do I still believe in this country? I do not believe in this country again. Witnesses too, they are tired of standing here. They have been kept here for over an hour. Standing. And so they said that they are tired. They are going. And they have introduced them before. Do I introduce him again? Yes, sir. So, the leader of uh, Igbo delegation, His Excellency Dr. Chiku Emeka Ezife, a retired Federal Permanent Secretary and former Governor of Anambra State. He's the leader of Igbo delegation here. And by his side is uh, His uh, Royal Majesty Dr. Ibe Mosu, Deus Igbo of Abuja, and uh, another tra uh, traditional ruler from Igbo land. His Royal Highness, Highness. Silvan Chika Uchimbe, DG, the third of Uvume Buena DG. And then um, there is also uh, another traditional ruler, as a Charles Osita Olisakwe. Osita Olisakwe. And then uh, we have uh, uh, an honorable member here. This honor, uh, uh, honorable. No, no, you can't be list, so uh, yes, Honorable you. member. Honorable Obina Ichita, he's here. All of us and many other traditional rulers from Igbo land, we were kept here, we've been here. They said that they are tired, they are going. Of course. And we are not happy about it. This is not how Nigeria should work. If they say that uh, we are practicing democracy, democracy allows people to express their opinion. Democracy allows people to express freedom. Exactly. And we don't, we are not seeing that here. If we are not free to witness the trial of Nam De Kalo, what are we talking about? Democracy. And so, you can see they are tired. And we are saying that Igbos are not happy. This will not happen to traditional rulers, leaders from other parts of the country. This should not happen. And it can never happen. So, oh, my dear. Exactly, I love that expression. We thank God for answering prayers. The prayers about our number of elections. We thank God for answering. Our responsibility is to change Nigeria. We will now start to plan for 2023 presidential election with Governor of Anambra State supporting us. Yes. We take over this country, fix it. 
we will ban Al Majri. We will ban Oban Talakawa. We will lead to explosive economic development of Nigeria. And everybody will be saluting and happy. We want to make the black man proud. All blacks on earth will be proud because that is the assignment God gave to Nigeria. We have been pretty. Things are changing. A new, and we will have no revenge against anybody. No retaliation for anything. So please, let us pray. All of you, when you go home, pray. All of us should pray to God for a new Nigeria. And it is coming. Thank you. In addition, we are royal fathers from Igbo speaking communities in Nigeria. It is Igbo tradition that a father does not abandon his son. Yes. We are here because of our son. As royal fathers, we came as fathers because of our son. To see <coughs> that justice, fairness prevails. And we can never deviate from our tradition of caring for our children. Thank you. Thank you. I am His Royal Highness Igwe Silvanus Chikauchime, DG, the third of Uvume Buenadigi in Anambra State. Your Excellency, sir, before you go, like how many hours have you been kept? Many hours. I'm on zero hours. This is not the first time. On Monday, last Monday, three hours. On Thursday, two and a half hours. Waiting to see Namdekano because of especially a number of elections and the city at home order. But you know now that the city at home was removed. Things are changing. They may be changing gradually. Those who saw my TV interview at uh, Arise will see me one somehow say, God bless of Buhari. He's not my friend at all. But I knew what was coming. He refused to permit the rigging of an Amra election. Press paper. I'm happy that all of you are here. What you people are seeing here now is what the Nam Dekal has been fighting for. Like what happened during the uh, Justice Odilis matter, which is now around the country. So this is what this man, young man has been fighting for us, but nobody knows. Nigeria thinks that we are doing, we are playing, we are doing this. We know what we are doing. And God will help that boy to be free from the problem he is today. Thank you very much. Sir. Is that